we obviously haven't been able to have our Jacob State Road for several years now. We're excited to get to do that. It's a little bit different this year. Uh, for one, Miss Suzanne's not here to kind of do what she's always done. And I really felt like this year that I would like to try to see if we can get more parents in because our kids don't have the opportunity for sports and things like that for parents to get a share in that. And with over 500 students, you can imagine what it's like you all try to park today on a, on a day where we have parents here for all students. There's just not enough room. We just don't have enough room. Um, and so, I really wanted to try this year to see if we could get something going so that we could have an opportunity for our parents and families to be involved with our students and kind of record some of the things that they get to do um, because we don't get that for our students a lot. Um, so I'm proud that everybody's here today um, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Our students will be coming through to do their performances. They're not in here and the reason for that is so we can have plenty of room. I had no idea how many would show up. There was a little bit of miscommunication because we never actually allowed students to be, or parents to be here. Uh, normally on these days, it's just our veterans. Um, so some, some folks were told that parents weren't able to be here. Um, and, and I'm going to try to correct that. We're going to see how this goes this year, and hopefully next year you'll be clear on the fact that parents will be able to be here. If we don't have any problems, I was afraid we would have too many people here. I didn't know how what that would look like, but with the rain and things today, I don't know if this will be a way to gauge it or not. Um, but we're thankful for everybody that's here. We're going ahead and get started with our program. begin with our fourth graders leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Through the night, 
know that most of our veterans are seated up here in the front, but I was also told we have some that are seated farther back. So if, if you don't mind all of our veterans, if you don't mind the stands, I'd like to recognize you folks. That's what this day is about. I personally want to say thank you to each and every one of you. I appreciate the sacrifices that you all have made for us to be able to be here today and to do the things that we're doing. That's just as simple as to gather out to celebrate this. Um, that's a reason that most people would take for granted. But I appreciate everything that you've done. So thank you very much. So we're now going to have our student bodies to start coming in. We're going to begin with kindergarten, and they will go up from kindergarten through fourth grade. And each grade level has a little performance. So these are our kindergartners, and they're going to be performing poppy songs. <laughs>
Thank you. 